Okay, so one of the things that people have a problem with is playing hands in no trumps. So I thought I'd go through uh, a few examples that I've played recently or my partners have played recently and why they take their actions. Okay, so first things first, they've led the king of clubs. So when they lead the king of clubs from here, that it's unlikely that they've got, uh, not got the ace, okay? So we look at my hand and think, well, I've got the ace and king of spades. It's possible we might be able to generate a third trick in spades. Let's say we lose the jack or the queen, we might be able to win the ace, king, 10, something like that. So we might have three tricks there. In hearts, we could potentially have uh, two tricks or even three tricks, depending on how the hearts get played. Uh, in diamonds, we're going to lose at least two if they break 2-2, two, two. or we could lose the ace-king queen of diamonds, so we could lose three diamond tricks. And in clubs, we're going to lose ace-king, okay, and we might win the queen if we've made the assumption correctly that north has the ace of clubs. Okay, so we can't really do anything about this first. They're still on lead. So they carry on taking the clubs and play another club. <coughs> okay, so here I decided to throw a spade away. I decided that I'm only going to get two tricks in spades. And what I'm thinking of is that I'm trying to generate some tricks in diamonds. So I know there's only two clubs out. I don't know how they're breaking, whether they're breaking 4-4 four, four or 5-3 at this point. But what you want to do is a lot of beginners will often just cash out their tricks. So they'll win the queen of clubs and then they'll say, They'll just play a heart to the ace and then play the ace, king of spades, something like that. Or they might take a heart and s, okay, and then play, if it wins, they'll bash out the ace and king. Okay, but the thing to do is set up your slow tricks. Okay, so setting up your long suits. So here, diamonds is our long suit. If, if diamonds break 2-2, two, two, okay, if we can knock out the top diamonds, then we're going to have three, we're going to generate three diamond tricks, okay? So a very basic strategy in no trumps is just to go for your long, longest suits. So even if you don't know what you're doing, go for your longest suits. So, and I think that's what I do next. So I play a diamond, they go up with the ace and they cash the club. Actually, they didn't cash the club. They just switched to a spade. That makes sense. I've thrown a spade away and I can see shortage in spades. They're thinking, right, we need to get some tricks here in spades. So they play a spade. And now I go back to my plan of playing diamonds, okay? So what I do here, actually, is I, I unblock, okay, and unblock. So I play the jack of diamonds, okay? I'm playing my highest one, because what you tend to do is play your high cards from your short hand, okay? The idea is that I can overtake with, uh, with the 10, okay, if that becomes a winner, and it does. The diamonds are broke too, too. So all of these are winners. But I'm just making sure that I don't get stuck in my hand because this hand potentially has no entries. Okay, so I now got club losers. I might have two club losers. I might have one. Okay, but um, at the moment, we've only got two tricks and they've got four. So they might be able to cash two club tricks if clubs are breaking by three. Okay, let's see what they do next. So they, in fact, continue with spades. Partner, this the, the chucky here has led a low spade. Okay, and I, I've just decided to cash it. Okay, and then I've played my diamonds. So I played low and then I'm going to overtake. Okay, and then play another diamond. Okay, so how many tricks have I got? Six. Okay, what do I do? I decided just to go up and, and win it. Okay, because there's a danger that I might not win. The rest of the tricks so here i'm just happy to make my contract we we'll just go back okay so for instance if i play the heart and if i take a finesse now so if i put in the queen it's going to lose to the king and then they're going to play a spade so they play the eight of spades and the last two spade tricks are going to win so i can't take the risk of taking a heart finesse okay the other thing is i've already noticed that uh actually uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know where the king is, to be honest with you. So I don't want to take the risk. I'm playing teams and I just want to make my contract. So I take no risk. I'm really happy that I've made the contract. Okay, because uh, at the outset, it looked like maybe I'd get four or five tricks. Okay, I'd get two hearts, two spades, 
okay, and I've not got, no, got nothing really else set up. Okay, so I'm happy to make seven tricks. Okay, so next hand. So here, West opens a week two in hearts. Uh, South, I bid three diamonds. And North now bids three no trumps. Okay, and then East leads the king of hearts, partner suit, and they go up with the ace. Now, <clears throat> let's have a look at North's hand. So we've got six diamond tricks. Okay, so we play the king of diamonds, and then we should have um, all these diamond tricks. Okay, we've also got the ace of clubs, and we've also got the ace of hearts. Okay, so six plus one plus one, that's eight tricks. Okay, but we're gonna lose two spade tricks and they've led the king of hearts. So we're gonna lose the queen of hearts. Okay, and we've possibly got some clubs to lose, king, queen, okay. So we've got eight tricks. So we need to set up a ninth one guaranteed. So what we can do, if we play this 10 of hearts, we're gonna set up the nine. What many people might well do is just cash off cash their diamonds straight away. And then the only way to get back to this hand is by the ace of clubs, okay? But you haven't set up your ninth trick yet. So what we should do is set up this ninth trick first because we're playing teams, we wanna make sure of our contract. By playing the 10, all that can lose is the queen of hearts and the ace king of spades. They can't run off a load of clubs. They can't run off diamonds, okay? They can't run off a load of hearts because we got the nine. Okay, we can't, they can't run off a load of spades because we've got the queen, jack, 10. So this is what you got to think about when you're playing in no trumps. Can they run off a load of another suit? Okay, if you give up the lead, can they run off a load of, uh, a load of tricks in another suit? So here they can't do. They can only get two spades and then the winning heart trick. So they can only get three tricks off the top. And by doing that, once they, if they want to take their three tricks, that's fine. They'll set up other tricks for us. So... Chris plays a 10 and gets rid of a losing spade. Okay, what happens next? Did they come back a spade? Let's have a look. Okay, so now they come back a spade. And this hand now plays the king of clubs. Okay, so they're changing suit quite a bit. And now they cash the ace of diamonds, come back, play a diamond. And now because there's no more entries, I'm pretty sure that Chris is now going to play the nine of hearts. Okay, chuck away a losing spade. And then run the diamonds. Now East has to make sure they keep the queen of clubs and a spade. Uh, yep, so that's what they've done. Ten of clubs goes around to the queen. And this Steve's take, uh, kept his ace of spades. So we've made our contract again. Let's go back. So I've opened one no trump. Partners bid two clubs, happens to be a robot. Stamen, I bid two spades, showing four card spades suit, and partner now bids three no trumps. And that's the end of it. Okay, so they lead off the jack of diamonds. So this can be top of an internal sequence. Okay, so that means they can have something like ace, jack, 10, King uh, Jack 10. Okay, so we know it's uh, probably from Ace Jack 10 when this Queen of Diamonds goes up. So sometimes you can duck these, but here, when I've got such good intermediates, the nine, eight, and three, I'm thinking that if they play the Ace and 10, it's now gonna set up my extra diamond, okay? And this is a kind of a bit of a weird play. It looks like this hand's maybe short and trying to unblock themselves, okay? So they might have queen X, for instance, and think, right, I'm going to play the queen to unblock. It's like when you've got an honor in a short suit, you'll play the honor first to unblock yourself. OK, so now I'm going to look at how many tricks I've got. I've got one already. In hearts, I've got two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. OK, so I'm quite a bit short. So what I'd like to do is play spades towards the queen jack. So what you should always do is play towards strength. If I play the two of spades, for instance, to the nine, then it's gonna set up the 10. Someone can just play the 10. Whereas if I play a small spade to the queen jack, what I'm hoping for is maybe the spades are three, three, 
and split honours. So what I mean by split honours is one hand's got the ace to three and the other hand's got the king to three. And if I can play spades uh, twice, okay, towards my queen jack, then I can potentially win two tricks in spades. Okay, so we've got three heart tricks. We've got a diamond is four and three club tricks is seven. If I can get two spade tricks, that's nine tricks. That makes my contract a three no trumps. Okay, so what we don't want to do is just cash the clubs, okay, from the top, all of them. Because if we do that, we're going to set up a 13th club in one of their suits. Someone's going to have four clubs or even five clubs. Okay, so we don't want to do that. So I want to get over there and play spades towards me. So that's what I do. I play that. Okay, so I only play one round of clubs, and now I'm going to play a spade towards this queen jack. Play a spade, and the ace pops up. Okay, now what do they do? Now they decide to cash their diamonds. No, that's good. When they cash the diamonds, I, they're now setting up my diamond trick. Okay, so this hand's now going to throw stuff away. And now it decides to switch which is a bit of a silly switch. That, that doesn't make sense. I play spades and now they're playing spades at me. You might as well play, say, a club. I'm thinking the reason why they're doing this is um, maybe it's safe or something, but, you know, a club can be safe. Okay. Uh, so I'm not quite sure why they switched there, but they switched and basically set up my spades. You know, as a defender, you shouldn't really do that. And also you probably shouldn't have cashed the diamonds because all you're doing is helping me out, really. You're helping me uh, uh, set, up the, set up my trick here okay and what have i got now i pretty much i think i've got the rest of the tricks i probably claim at this point okay okay and then i just claim okay so i've got all the winning cards in my hand and i just claim so that's another thing to do in defense try not to just cash out tricks because you could be saying out uh, setting up uh, declarers um, uh, suit. Okay, so South uh, bids two no trumps, and I decide to bid three no trumps. Okay, so what's happened here? One club, one spade over call, two spades. I decide to, I've got a cl club support, so I'm happy to play in three clubs. If partner's got just a weak hand with clubs, then I'll probably just play in three clubs because I've got a 12 count. So it's not a massive hand, but if partner now bids two no trumps, I'm going to raise it to three no trumps. Okay, uh, so in our system, one club doesn't necessarily guarantee five clubs. Okay, partner could just have a three card club suit for that bid. Okay, so uh, we get a heart lead. Now on the heart lead, got no choice here to go with the king. You can't play low. Okay, you just got to hope that this hand's got the ace. Okay, but there's a good chance they've got the ace because they bid. Okay. And they bid a vulnerable uh, vulnerability, red. Okay. Okay. So we look at our tricks. We've got one. We've got five club tricks. That's six. We've got the ace, king of diamonds is eight. So we've got to generate another trick from somewhere. But we're wide open in now in hearts. Okay. So we could play a spade to the king jack and take some sort of finesse to get the ninth. Okay. But that means giving up the lead. Now, if we give up the lead, then they can cash a load of heart tricks the other thing is this hand is likely to have the spades because it's overcalled. okay so this hand's likely to have the ace queen of spades if this hand's got the ace queen of spades and can cash three rounds of hearts that means we're off okay so here we cannot afford to give up the lead okay so we've got to take nine tricks off the top so we've got one heart we've got five clubs that's six we've got the ace king of diamonds is eight so what we can try to do is take a diamond finesse OK, now this hand could pot potentially have the Queen of Diamonds. But what I would say is if they, this hand had a Ace, Queen, Jack of Hearts, it probably wouldn't have led the three. So there's a good chance this hand here has something in hearts. And because this hand's over Carl vulnerable, then this hand's more likely to hold the Queen of Diamonds. So that's kind of what we're going to go for. But first things first, we're going to play a load of clubs. OK going to play a load of clubs and put them under pressure, make them throw stuff away. Okay, potential winners away. So the, this hand's already thrown a heart away, got to keep hold of its diamonds, and now starting to throw spades away. Okay, so 
Now we've played all our clubs. Okay. Next, we're going to play the Ace of Diamonds. And then we play another diamond. And we've got to basically cross our fingers and hope that that Jack of Diamonds wins. Okay. If it loses, there's a good chance now then, well, you can see that we're most likely going to go off. Okay. Okay. But uh, we had to sort of go for it. Now, that is the best line of playing that contract. It's not a good idea to just play the Ace and then the King and hope for the drop. Okay, it's best to take the finesse there in that situation. The queen is unlikely to drop. Okay, so let's have a look at our last hand. Okay, so we end up in three no trumps. It's gone two clubs, which is Benji Echo saying uh, it's not a game force hand, but it's showing a strong hand. I bid two diamonds, which is just a relay. And then this cheeky guy bids two spades, which is fair enough. He got a decent hand here. Now, I was hoping that partner might double this and I could leave it in, but they didn't. They just bid naturally, bid their clubs naturally. Okay, and then I just bid three no trumps naturally, showing I got a spade stop and then partner left it in. Okay, so got the ace of spades lead and then the king of spades lead. And partner has played 6-2. Their partner's played 6-2, so they've shown a doubleton. So this hand now knows that I've got five spades. <clears throat> so let's just have a quick look at this. So I've got six clubs and three clubs here, that's nine. And I've got the top four clubs. So I know I've got six club tricks. I've got the ace king of diamonds, that's eight. And I know I've got the ace of hearts, that's nine tricks. Okay, so I've got nine guaranteed tricks now because they can't run the spades. They can only take one more trick if they want to. Okay, I've also got this queen of clubs as an entry to get to my hand, which is important. So they decide to stop playing spades because they know that's going to set up the contract. And they can see now this hand's got ace, king of diamonds, and they just play a diamond. What they cleverly do here is actually is this thing called unblocking. Because if they play a small diamond, okay, um, if they play a small diamond here, then this suit mm. is blocked. They're trying to get over to the partner and generate some tricks. And as it turns out, they can't get to their hand anyway because queen, jack, nine is higher than all of their diamonds, because I've actually got the 10. Okay, so I play the king of diamonds. Okay, so now I'm thinking, well, I really want to play a spade, okay, and force this queen out. So what I've got here is six clubs and three clubs here, that's nine. So if the clubs break two, two, I have an entry here with the five of clubs. Okay, and I can still get back to this hand with the ace of hearts to cash all these other clubs. So what I'm hoping for is the clubs break 2-2. Two, two. So I play the winning ace of clubs first of all, and then I play a small club over to my hand. Now notice which club I play. I don't play the four, because I want to keep that four in order to get to the five if they break 2-2. Two, two. So I play a higher one. Unfortunately, the clubs don't break. Okay, so. This five of clubs is not an entry. Uh, and I don't really have any entries now. But I'm looking at the cards. We've got three cards, uh, three tricks so far. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tricks guaranteed. Now, I saw this hand play six, two in spades. So I'm pretty much sure that this hand's got six spades and this hand's got no more. Okay. And it also is a good chance that this hand has the king of hearts. So uh, I've also got the 10, nine of hearts. So watch what I do next. This is quite a neat little play, I think. I play the queen of hearts. And now if this hand doesn't cover with the king, I'm simply going to play low. Okay, but this hand covers with the king. And now what I do next is I play another heart back. Now, if it loses, if it loses, I lose to the jack. And I'm hoping that they don't have another spade because if they haven't got any more other spades, then the rest of the tricks are winners. So I play the ten of, uh, nine of hearts, the jack wins, okay? And now I just claim, I actually just claimed, okay? Um, because they can't play another spade and all of these are now winners. So I thought that was quite a nice little hand to generate 10 tricks. And that is really nice play in say, if you're playing match points, if everyone else is making nine tricks and you're making 10 tricks, you're going to get a giant top for the, for the board. Whereas if you're playing teams, you're going to gain one extra in, which is exactly what happened. We gained one extra in. So it's still a gain. And uh, so there you have it. 
how to play uh, more no trump hands. <laughs> 